I bought five of the best electric lawnmowers in the industry and put them through four grueling challenges to see which one came out on top. It's a whole lot more work than I thought it was gonna be and things got wild. Let's get into it. What's up guys, my name's Tyler and welcome to another edition of The Lawn Review where we provide clear, concise, and honest product reviews and DIY guides. In this video, the five mowers that I put head to head to head to head to head to head are the Milwaukee M18, the Greenworks 80 volt, the Ego 56 volt, Ryobi 40 volt, and Makita 36 volt electric lawnmowers. I tested these lawnmowers on things like power, run time, charge time, cut efficiency, and more. Basically anything I'd look for when I walk down an aisle of one of those big box stores when I'm comparing mowers. All this to let you know which one is El Capitano. Without further ado, let's roll. This first challenge is called the Mower Mile because it is what it sounds like. Basically I'm gonna walk with these mowers through my neighborhood until they die. I'm gonna see which one of these mower batteries lasts the longest. I know that some people in the comment section might be a little frustrated with that. Like, well, you're not putting it under any load, so the battery's gonna last forever. Well, that's true, but I cannot simulate the exact same cutting conditions on every single mower. So what I chose to do was remove load from any of these mowers to make it as fair a comparison as I can. Hopefully some of those battery questions will flush themselves out later on in some of the other tests that we're gonna do. Try to be as fair as possible here. And during the mower mile test, I'm not gonna use any turbo buttons, any silent features, anything like that, like just as is. This is how, when you operate the mower normally, this is how long the battery will last. So like old Forrest Gump did, he just ran you know, forever run, force run. Well, this is gonna be like, walk, Tyler, walk. And I'm just gonna be walking for a while. First up is this brand new Ego Select Cut Mower. Yeah, I'm packing water, but we'll see how long this thing runs for. Here we go. <laughs> Had to sneak in a cut, you know. Why not? If it needs to be cut, let's cut it. So for this test, I'm using cruise control, but I'm not gonna use the turbo button. I think there's a turbo button on the Milwaukee and then a turbo button on Maybe the Ryobi or something. And then there's a quiet mode on the Makita. I'm not gonna use any of those, but I am gonna use cruise control on its highest setting because that would just be ridiculous, right? Can't have shame. I mean, I'm walking down the middle of the road with a lawnmower. I mean, pride out the window. But we gotta find out which one has the longest battery life. Come on, let's go. Still have full battery too, by the way. I'm starting to rethink this decision big time and a whole lot of other life decisions. I'm just passing people and they're just looking at me like, what in the world is this guy doing? Honestly, I'm thinking the same thing. I know I'm exactly at one mile. Still haven't lost a single light on the battery light indicator. Praise the Lord, one light down, four to go. We're looking at five miles. 60 minutes in, baby. Two lights to go. Nobody else is doing this. Hit that subscribe button, baby. Hour and 17 minutes in. Two lights left to go. 121 minutes, one more light to go. I think I might time this one pretty right. Got a big hill at the end. I think we might be able to burn out this battery right before I get home. So, hey, the end of sight, and this is just the first mower. Let's go, baby, blinking red light. I'm at, uh, golly, an hour and 24 minutes. We'll see how much longer this lasts. I hope not much longer. Heck yes, blinking lights, we're done. No joke, my house is right up there. Perfect timing for the first go. Perfect. Hour and 31 minutes took to do the test. Next up is this Ryobi. See how long this bad boy runs for. I think it's advertised for 75 minutes. Hoping it's a little shorter than that, but we'll see. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Except I actually can because I'm walking. If I was driving, it'd be a little different. So I can't wait to get on the road again. So barely a quarter mile in, already one light down. Might be a quick little test on this one. Yeah, I mean, we're not even a quarter of a mile in. I'm only 10 minutes in. Two lights down, baby. Weird. They were fully charged. And I put them on, so yo no say. Well, I may have gotten myself into a little bit of a pickle here. We got one light left, 20 minutes in, which is horrendous, but I'm far from home too. So might have to call Sarah and see if she can bring the truck over and put it in the back if it dies. 30 minutes in, I am praying that it makes it up these hills. Do not want to push this thing all the way up these hills. Come on, come on, Bessie, come on. Starting to lose power though. 34 minutes and the light is blinking now. The beginning of the end, I think. 35 minutes, 21 seconds, and it's dead. And it's heavy and I'm pushing it up this hill. Pretty bad. Some of the other mowers have beat that by a solid hour. So, not good, Ryobi. Home sweet home. Woo-wee. 
That looks good though. All right, next up is this Makita or Makita to the lay person. 80 minutes advertised run time. This should be a good little hike. We'll see. You know, in hindsight, I probably could have put these on like a treadmill or something or just zip tied down the throttle. A little late for that now, but next time maybe. Good workout though. You know, I will say that after using this Makita, the light on here is not visible at all. Like put it in a shadow or something to be able to see the battery light. Starting to chafe. Not good, not good at all. All right, we're 40 minutes in and I've got two lights of six lights left. I'm, I'm pretty close to halfway is what I'm trying to say. Hey, this Makita is a smooth ride though. Honestly, really actually pretty smooth. These tires are pretty bulky and feel, feel good. Bulky in a good way. Mower gang right here. Got a guy all the way back there. He's trying to chase me down, I think. Not gonna get me, not gonna get me. Nope, he's mowing. Nice digs, man. Look at that, that one's landscaped very nice. They'll probably win yard of the month this month, I'd imagine. I guess we got a little more competition than I thought. Hallelujah. We can move on to the next phase. Yep, 56 minutes, so look at them stripes. My goodness. Now that's a lawn right there. Teach me your ways, boss. I'm trying to get like you, my, what's it called? My dog or something? I don't know. I'm trying to get like you, my dog. Hour and 36 minutes. I think we're nearing the end here. Slowing down. I'm not mad about it. And we made it up this, like the final big hill. Going out to my house. So all in all, very, very impressed with the Makita battery time. All right, an hour and 38 minutes and it just died. On to the next one. So pretty impressed with that battery run time, honestly. Headed out with old GW on the fourth of five mower test. We got a little help on this one. Sarah and Jude are coming with me on this one. At least for as long as he can stand it couldn't hang. Honestly, the Greenworks one is like uncomfortably fast, maxed out. Like it's it's probably four miles per hour, I'd say. Kind of uh, too fast to maintain the space, but we'll see. Definitely the lightest mower of the bunch. Super, super light. Especially, I think I just did the, what was it? Re, uh, I did the Ryobi, yeah, earlier today. I think it was heavy. It's been a day, man. An absolute day. Hit that subscribe button. Come on. I forgot to mention, 2.5 amp hour battery on the right side and a five amp hour battery on the left. So 7.5 amp hours. 80 volt. I think the runtime will be about 60 minutes. Probably a little bit north of 60 minutes, but we'll see. All right, we're 33 minutes in, and the bigger of the two batteries died. The 5 amp hour battery is dead. So we're getting kind of close to being time to probably head back home. So see how much longer this one lasts for. But yeah, honestly, I see this lady mowing her lawn every single week. She's up there. I don't know. It's not a self propelled mower either. So I feel really bad. I don't know. Maybe might, we might hook her up one of these days. I think we got a case of the zombie batteries. We're an hour we're in and we still haven't lost a single light on the other one so maybe i was wrong all right so i'm at an hour and 15 minutes in i have two lights to go getting close definitely underestimated these batteries i thought i'd be home by now it's just a beautiful day to take your mower out for a nice walk hour and uh 31 minutes so i guess it surpassed the makita i think the makita was an hour 31 maybe an hour 38 so truthfully i overshot the landing coming home i've got a little bit of battery left so i'm gonna cut my backyard pretty impressive i think we're at like an hour and 40 minutes i've gone two two down and back to my backyard sounds like it's given up now but we will see all right headed out with the milwaukee wisconsin lawnmower made it this far we're we're almost done but i do have a sneaking suspicion that this is going to be the longest battery man this thing's a smooth ride it's like driving a dang cadillac about 20 minutes in still got four lights all right 40 minutes in we've lost our first light praise the lord so we're looking at with eh, maybe an hour and 20 minutes i don't know these batteries can act kind of funny sometimes so some people walk their dogs some people walk their lawnmowers you know just different strokes for different folks i guess all right we're an hour in still only one light down you know when i was making this video or starting to think about making this video a lot of people were like you're not actually gonna do that are you you're not actually gonna walk with all those mowers you're just gonna like fake it make it seem like you did right no joke several people said that to me and i was like no you know i'm actually gonna do that because that would be the most anti-lawn review thing ever if i faked it so i've actually been walking for like six hours with a lawnmower at this point so ain't no fakers out here all right so i'm an hour and a half in still have two of four battery lights left to go. Milwaukee's a beast. 
an absolute beast. Hour and 36 minutes down, we just dropped another light. So we are three fourths of the way there. So an hour and 43 minutes down. Again, pre-booked my return flight home. Did it a little early. So I'm just gonna cut the backyard. Don't worry, I'm not gonna stop the timer. And I will add it to the runtime. So I'm just gonna cut the backyard now. All right, guys, so an hour and 52 minutes. Got the majority of my backyard cut too. Far and away. So if you ever wanted to know, Milwaukee's got the longest battery life out of all these mowers. So this test is called the charge time challenge test. Charge time challenge test. Should have picked a different name. It feels like peanut butter in my mouth. But basically it is what it sounds like. Basically I mounted all five charging bases onto this white board. I'm gonna throw the batteries on. They're completely dead at this point. I'm gonna see how long it takes for them to fully charge. When they do fully charge, bing! the corresponding light above it will come on. So there's a few weird things with this test. As you may notice that Makita right here, it came with four batteries, but there's only two ports. So we're gonna have to cycle through all four batteries to see how long it takes. Because as you'll see in some of the other challenges, I gave them all four batteries on the runtime test and things like that, because that's what I bought and that's what I'm gonna test. So this should be a little interesting. And why this test is important is because runtime isn't the only important factor when looking at a lawnmower. You really need to know how long it takes for them to fully charge too because let's say like I don't know the Toro for example that I reviewed a month or so ago basically I had 40 minutes of runtime but four and a half hours of charge time that's terrible let's say I get to the end of a job and I've got a little bit more work to do and I need to throw my battery on the charger well it's going to take a long time to get a full charge so I want to know which one has the most efficient ratio between charge time and runtime but here we go So we're 36 minutes, 38 minutes, just kidding. 38 minutes in. A lot of these batteries and charging bases that I'm kind of driving blind with, the only one that gives me a really good indication of where I'm at in the charging process is that Ego right there. And as you can see, it goes around a circle, letting me know how far I am in the charging process. But the Makita and the Milwaukee both give me a different light. It's gonna be two lights blinking, like the red and the green will light up at the same time. But that only happens at like 75 minutes. So I'm really driving blind until then. The Ryobi and the green works literally just blink until they're fully charged and then they go solid green so 38 minutes 39 minutes i'm feeling good about where we're at with the ego but the other ones I, you tell me i don't know so we're getting close here as you can see the ego is all the way around the circle i'm just waiting for it to go fully green the Makita is obviously about 75% or so, maybe a little bit more fully charged. The Milwaukee's dragging behind a little bit compared to that, and I have no clue about the Ryobi and Greenworks. They're just blinking away, so. <laughs> okay, so literally an hour and one minute went by and the Greenworks is now fully charged. That was the bigger of the two batteries that came. So that one's fully charged. I do have to then put the next battery on so the light isn't on yet because it's not fully charged. But an hour and one minute. So the 10 amp hour Ego and the first half of the Makita both finished charging at an hour and four minutes, basically exactly. So Ego is done. Woo! We got a lot of action going on. The Ryobi just finished the first half of the Ryobi and it's, and it's an hour and six minutes. A lot of action going on right now. So I am really impressed with that Ego. That's a big old 10 amp hour battery, basically beating all three of these by half. So then we still have the Milwaukee on the charger. Once that's done, uh, it'll that'll be fully charged as well. So it's not completely crushing the Milwaukee, I don't think. I have no clue because those are just solid red lights, which is as much as Milwaukee's given us right now. All right, guys, it's an hour and 40 minutes and the Greenworks, the 2.5 amp hour portion of that Greenworks like two battery thing that comes with it, it's fully charged. So an hour and 41 minutes and we're an hour and 40 and the Greenworks is fully charged. All right, guys, it's an hour and 54 minutes. The Ryobi is now fully charged both sets of the six amp hour batteries done charging hour and 54 minutes no clue why one half was faster than the other but whatever hour and 54 minutes though mark it down all right guys we're at an hour and 56 minutes and the milwaukee is finally done charging mark it down hour and 56 minutes boom now all we've got left is that makita 
guys, it's been two hours and 32 minutes and the Makita is finally done charging. It was the last one to go. Two hours, 32 minutes, mark it down. All right, so the batteries are now fully charged, completely charged. That 10 amp hour battery from Ego was the fastest. It charged in an hour and four minutes, followed by Greenworks. The two sets of batteries took an hour and 40 minutes to charge, followed by the Ryobi, a uh, six amp hour, two six amp hour batteries took an hour and 54 minutes. And then the Milwaukee took an hour and 56 minutes. Those are two jumbo batteries. They're each 12 amp hour batteries, which are ginormous. And then I knew the Milwaukee was gonna take forever. There's just four batteries and it's not a super efficient platform, I guess, in terms of charging. It took two hours and 32 minutes, go figure. I don't know, the first one took an hour and four minutes and then the last two sets of batteries took well, I don't know, another hour and a half, so not great. But that's what you can expect in terms of charge time with these batteries. So this challenge is called the Bog Down Showdown, and it is what it sounds like. This field near my house is full of tons of overgrown grass that should be a good stress test for each one of these mowers. I'm gonna see which one of these handles bog down situation the best. Let's find out. And full disclosure here, I am gonna lower each one of these height settings down to about two inches or so to really simulate that stress test so we can hopefully clearly differentiate between the mowers. So I just checked the drone footage and I noticed that I went out of the footage. So the Ryobi did really, really well. It looks to be about 45 yards or something. I was really impressed with how far that Ryobi went, especially with how it's done on some of the other challenges. I've, I've not been overly impressed with the Ryobi lately, honestly, but we'll see how some of these other ones do. Next up is the Milwaukee. <laughs> All right, so the Milwaukee did not do very well at all. Although I will say that there were some ruts in it that I did not see that the Ryobi did not experience. So I don't love that test, but uh, that's the results. I mean, I read it and weep, people. The Ryobi powered through a whole lot better than the, than the Milwaukee did. Next up is this Makita. Well, that one did about half the distance between the Ryobi, maybe a little bit further than half. Oh, man, I'm still shocked about that Milwaukee. I don't know, because it's the it should be the best mower, but I don't know, I might give it one more shot. Uh, I know that's kind of an asterisk, but there's just simply no way. So maybe at the end of this, I'll give the Milwaukee one more shot just to see if there was a fluke, something got jammed in there, but that's kind of the, the nature of the test, but I don't know, Woo, that's weird. Now we got this Ego 56 volt. Let's see how it does compared to the other three mowers we've done so far. Uh, okay, just never died, went all the way down and back. That Ego, I, it got up to, like its RPMs just kicked up, man. That was really, really impressive. Really impressive. Next up is this Greenworks 80 volt. I, I, I got high hopes for this one. This one's been an absolute beast when I've used it. Uh, might swing back with that Milwaukee one more time, but we'll see. Well, I'll be dang, that made it all the way down and back as well. Let me take a look on something with this Milwaukee. I thought I felt it pop. I think, yep, it's down one more notch than it needed to be. Let's fire this one back up and see how it does. So for clarity's sake, I got poking around and you can see there's a huge divot here right between this part and this part, really, really deep. And what happened was that Milwaukee got its tires down in there and it choked it out. I got no connection to Milwaukee at all, like, but I was just like, that doesn't make any sense. I did a little digging. I think that's what kind of happened. So I'm in a bit of a predicament here. Both the Greenworks, Ego, and Milwaukee all never bogged down. So what I'm gonna do is raise them down one more notch and see of these three, then which one makes it the furthest there. So we're just bringing it down another notch, just increasing that stress a little bit more on these motors. All right, so I brought them all down to level four. Let's rock and roll. I'll, I'll be dang, the Milwaukee had no problem there. Let's fire up this Ego and see what it does. Oh, 
Oh, almost, man. Check that out. Ego died within about 10 yards of finishing that other one. Jeez. All right, and last step is this Greenworks 80 volt. Again, load it down a notch, see how she runs. Dang. Okay, so it just got probably, I don't know, three fourths of the way down. So very clear that the Milwaukee M18 was the most powerful. So the placement here obviously is first place goes to the Milwaukee, second place goes to this Ego, third place to the Greenworks, fourth place to the Ryobi, fifth place to that Makita. That Makita has been less than impressive, but I will say, man, look at this. These are electric lawn mowers, and this grass is what? A foot, 18 inches long? And it has, a lot of them have absolutely demolished this lawn. I mean, I could keep going with this Milwaukee, not going to because I'm a little bit worried about Rocky Mountain spotted fever, but you know, really impressed with the way that these have done. All right, so this challenge is called the cut check or like, you know, gut check, but cut check. Nah, it's not very funny. But anyway, what I did was create five different plots right here. And what I did was spray paint just the tips. I know I, I talk about like nobody wants frosted tips anymore, but in this case, I did want frosted tips. What I want to do is let that grass grow up a little bit taller than the other grass. And I've left this for probably a week and a half and let it got real, real long. I hope you can see it on the videos, but then I'm going to run over it with each one of these mowers. And hopefully that white will provide a little bit more contrast and we'll be able to see the effectiveness of each one of these cuts. And I really think that the higher the RPM on the mower or produced from the motor itself, the better cut efficiency you'll get. So I'm gonna run each one of these mowers through the cut check and see how well they do. So overall, I felt like this Ego did a really good job and I've honestly been really impressed with the performance of the Ego thus far. There are a few situations like right here where I can tell it just didn't get the lift that I would have liked. And I really liked that we had that white paint on there because you can really tell that that is long grass. Otherwise it would have looked, you know, just like it was like a normal grass is laying down, but you can see that there were a good bit of grass blades missed, but overall I felt like it did a pretty good job. There you can see some more grass that's taller, but Ego did all right. Let's hit this Ryobi. You know, the Ryobi actually did fairly well. Pretty comparable to the Ego over here, but you can see that there were a few situations like right here where I felt like the majority of grass was missed right here. And I did a pretty good overlap. So I would say that the Ego did slightly better than the Ryobi, but you know, honestly, there's not a huge difference between those two mowers. So the next mower I'm gonna test is this Greenworks 80 volt. Had a lot of experience with this mower. So I am expecting pretty good results from this one, but we'll see. You know, I've used this mower quite a bit, so I know that it's, it does provide a good cut normally, but I'll be danged. Hard to argue with results. I mean, look at that grass. I would say out of the three mowers that that is the worst performing one, which is weird. I would say it goes Ego Ryobi Greenworks so far. The Greenworks, I mean, you can see, I mean, I'm not making this up. Look at all this grass right here. Just no lift at all, just strange. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the knock that I feel like people have on electric is that it just doesn't get the same lift that you get out of gas, but you know, it definitely depends on how high you're cutting the grass, the moisture content, things like that. So it's not all just RPMs and motor power. There's a lot that goes into it, but these, these tests are hard to argue with, but I mean, I wouldn't be pissed if I cut my lawn like that. I mean, decent results. I will run each one of these mowers over again with the turbo buttons on just to see if it'll clean it up. Just to give you some clarity on just how powerful those turbo buttons are. Uh oh, looks like we might have some rain coming. So I gotta hurry up. I messed up and did not have the Milwaukee brought up to the right height setting when I made that first pass. The Milwaukee performed very well. I feel like there were still some situations where there was missing blades. So if you do cut down a notch lower than what I was doing, you will get a more consistent cut. And this might just be a fescue thing. So some of you warm 
warm season guys might have you know better results than I'm getting but with these cool season grasses like a fescue or something that you grow real tall it's really hard for these mowers to get the rpms to pull up those grass blades but still I mean I would put this right on line with that ego if not a little bit below the ego honestly but that is without the turbo button like I said at the beginning so take that for what you will that you know with the turbo button off these are the results that you're getting and then last but not least is this Makita mower I'm going to see how well it does on this final plot so far I've been not very impressed with this Makita mower honestly but we'll see how this one does in the cut check Yeah, the Makita is easily the worst performing mower. I mean, you can see it here. Look at all these. I mean, this is just all uncut grass. I mean, it's, it might be hard to come through on camera. I hope it, I hope you can see it, but look at all that. All of that is basically uncut and you can see some of these other ones pretty consistent. But this one, dude, I've, I've not been impressed with that Makita mower. Honestly, one of the most requested mowers I've ever reviewed. Obviously just reviewed it a couple weeks ago, but you know, <laughs> thing is garbage. But as I've promised with some of these mowers that have the turbo button, now I'm gonna press the turbo button and see if it can clean up some of those missed blades. <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, look at both these. With the turbo button on, those results, Milwaukee Greenworks, and then you can see some of these other scragglers. Like, look at all that right there. I'm nitpicking, but that's the that's why you do these tests. But yeah, I mean, go, going back on the Greenworks, geez, comparatively, look at that. That's a consistent cut, both those. So, I guess, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm confused on what to do here because I wanna make it a fair comparison, but truthfully, you are paying for the turbo feature on both these mowers. So yeah, the turbo, the big kicker here is the turbo button because look how much better the performance is on these Greenworks with the turbo button and the Milwaukee over here with the turbo button on. I mean, those are consistent gas-like cuts. I would give the nod probably to the Greenworks here with the turbo button on, the Milwaukee, which I would never, would have imagined me saying that the green works with the turbo button on was actually better cut quality than this Milwaukee with the turbo button on. Weird, but you know, life is weird sometimes. Fifth and final comparison is gonna be that cash comparison. This is the bonus category. So basically the dollar is king. I'm just gonna assign the cheapest electric lawnmower is getting all five of the points. And then the most expensive is obviously just gonna get one. I mean, there's varying factors that go into that, but at the end of the day, numbers don't lie. It is what it is. And I think it allows the rest of the weighted categories to kind of flush themselves out. But the most expensive lawnmower just getting one point is obviously gonna be that Milwaukee mower. It's gonna run you $1,100. Ain't cheap, super, super expensive. And then the next most expensive lawnmower is gonna be that Ego. It's gonna run you 850 bucks. It ain't cheap either, but it's about, I don't know, what, $250 more affordable? That's that's pretty good. And then moving one notch up from there is gonna be the Ryobi. That one's gonna run you $799, about 50 bucks cheaper than the Ego. But in my personal opinion, I would say that that 50 bucks is not worth saving. I'd go ahead and buy the Ego, truthfully. Then the second cheapest electric lawnmower in this five way comparison is gonna be that Makita, $760. I wouldn't pay a dollar for that thing, as you can see in the previous results thing did terrible I'm, I'm gonna throw it in the garbage and this is wild but the cheapest electric lawnmower on here is actually the greenworks and as you can see it performed really well in the other results it's gonna run you six hundred dollars or about uh, somewhere around six hundred to six hundred fifty seven hundred bucks somewhere around there depending on the exact model that you buy the model that I got was from Costco it came with that four amp hour battery and 2.5 amp hour battery I think earlier in the video I said it was a five but sorry it's a four amp hour battery so let's go ahead and tally up all those results and see See which one of these mowers comes out on top. So basically that is what it is. And once you compile all those results, the winning lawnmower, which I never thought in a million years that I would say this, but the Greenworks actually 
beat out the Milwaukee. It performed really well in that cut check, and I think that's what did it. And then the fact that the Milwaukee is so much more expensive really gave it that final nudge to take the number one spot. So as you can see, the Greenworks comes in at that number one spot. Milwaukee is still absolutely unbelievable, but because it was so expensive, it really hurt it in that overall comparison. And then the third place electric lawnmower is gonna be that Ego mower. Guys, thanks so much for checking out this video. If you liked what you saw in this video, you found it fun and informative and entertaining, I tested out the most expensive and cheapest lawnmowers I could get my hands on and it just got ridiculous. So check out this video if you wanna see that. Until next time, keep cutting. We'll see y'all again, peace. Hey, How how's it going? My name's Tyler. Tyler. Hey, I live up the street from y'all and I have a YouTube channel called The Lawn Review where I review like lawn care equipment. I know it sounds kind of crazy, but I review like lawn mowers, you know, anything that, you know, has to do with lawn care and DIY guides and stuff like that. And I think I see you or your wife mowing this lawn like religiously. Oh, yes. Hey, she wouldn't let nobody else mow it. No, no, I, I don't want to mow it, but I do have like a brand new electric lawnmower that I was just going to give y'all if you wanted it. So, You're no, no, it's Ego Select Cut. It's awesome. I just see her pushing that mower and it I looks know. like it's been up there in years. And yeah. this one's like self propelled. So you don't have to push it or anything like that. It's a, it's a good mower. I live up the street on King Cannon, so I, I passed oh, okay, by. Yeah and was just like, I have my hand, I have probably like upwards of 10 lawnmowers now. And this is like a brand new one that they sent me. So I was just gonna see if y'all wanted it. Well, I, I don't know what to say. Yeah, well, <laughs> I just drive by every time and I'm like, that lady's, she's working hard. So it reminds me a lot of my mom. She She's always out there doing yeah. yard work. And oh so. yeah, she loves the yard work. And, and so. she just gets so depressed in the winter time. Yeah. Ain't nothing to do but rake leaves and. Well, um, I've got the charger and like a bagger and a side discharge chute. I did forget the owner ma owner's manual at my house. I can bring it by and put it in y'all's mailbox or whatever uh, if you want the owner's manual. But if you don't want it, you can text. I can give you my number and you can text me and I'll come pick it up if she doesn't like it. Um, or if she does, she can keep it. So, well, I'm sure she'll like it. Okay. The channels enabled me to be able to like buy all these mowers or actually Ego sent me this mower for free. So... I just saw her doing it all the time and I Man, wanted to that's, say, that's great. yeah, help out, yeah. <laughs> you know.